Welcome to MWR Life on Air. I'm your host, Melissa Schaffner. In this week's show, we'll visit with Fort Campbell Garrison Commander Colonel Dellinger to discuss this year's Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour. Then we'll catch up with Katherine Walker about the Super Bowl party at the Zone and other upcoming events. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Looking for a unique gift for that special someone? Fort Campbell's MWR Engraving Etc. can personalize awards, plaques, trophies, and specialty gifts to show your appreciation in a memorable way. They accept walk-in requests as well as orders via fax or email. Engraving Etc. is located inside the Gannett Arts and Crafts Center next to Wilson Theater. For more information and price quotes, please call 270-798-0171. Fort Campbell MWR, serving soldiers, families, retirees, and civilians. Welcome back. With every new year comes new beginnings. The Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour is a new initiative here at Fort Campbell to give the local community opportunities for fun, fitness, and lifestyle enhancement. We recently got the opportunity to talk with our garrison commander, Colonel Dellinger, about the Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour. Let's take a look. Welcome to the show, Colonel Dillinger. We're so glad you could be with us. Well, thanks for having me. It's a good opportunity to sit down and talk to you. This is your first time on the show, mm -hmm. and so I need to let our viewers know how it is that you came to be here at Fort Campbell in the position of Garrison Commander. Well, Garrison Commander, I uh, came here July 9th, took over from Colonel Perry Clark, and uh, my last duty station before I came here was uh, Stuttgart, Germany. Love Germany. I loved being there. So, um, you know, it was always hard to leave an overseas assignment. We have great times right. while we're there. What do you think about Fort Campbell? Well, we, my wife and I were here from 2006 to 2009, battalion commander here at Fort Campbell. And so we, when we found out we were coming back to Fort Campbell, it was a, a, a great coming home sort of a, a event for us. The kids went, started school here. They came back to the uh, same school system and, and some old friends. So it's, it was a good coming home experience for us. So you have some familiarity with the communities outside the gate and how supportive they are right. of our soldiers here at Fort Campbell. But as garrison commander, that's kind of a different role for you than a battalion commander. You're right. like our city mayor here right. inside these gates. That's a lot of responsibility. Then you mentioned it, the Hopkinsville, Clarksville, and Oak Grove team that are out there, wonderful people. And as you're right, as battalion commander, you're focused on a different set of issues than I am as now as a garrison commander. So it's it's a great uh, support that we get from the local uh, civilian folks, uh, retirees, uh, all services. It's a, it's just a wonderful community. Yes, it is. And so being responsible for all things uh, city of Fort Campbell, you know, to our streets and our water and, and our infrastructure, you're also taking on the responsibility of the healthy lifestyles right. of our residents. Right. And through that, you came to a conclusion that we needed something to get us up and get us moving. Tell us a little bit about your vision. Well, the uh, General McConville brought it to our attention, and, and it's his vision to have a healthy, active living program and lifestyle here at Fort Campbell. And so We've gone through a number of infrastructure and nutrition working groups, and and uh, and we really wanted to get at the point of what are we doing to get our physical fitness opportunities out there systemically, systematically around the around the calendar, and uh, so we also have a, a couple different groups of, of populations that we need to to get involved, and it's our wounded warrior population our young children population who, who need to learn some good habits. And uh, we have uh, retirees and some folks that may want to enter into physical fitness. And then we've got our competitive category. Uh, so when we thought about those four groups, uh, I thought, how can we get all of those into uh, a, a set of programs that they can look forward to, challenge themselves all the way around the year? So that was the beginning of, of sort of beginning thinking about how can we get them involved? So what we have now is a plan of events that will run throughout 2013 called the Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour. Right. And we'll begin in February. Right. Uh, but the, the really neat thing about this, the cool element, is that there's something for everyone. Right. From the child who is um, set, spending too much time on the couch with the video game, you awesome. know, Yep. The spouse that might want to participate with her family. Right. Um, and then, of course, you know, our soldiers do physical training pretty right. much every day. They've got a level of fitness, but we, we all need something. Right, right. And, and, and that, was, that was the concept. But also, we, you know, after being here a little while, I, I realized that Clarksville and Hopkinsville are doing some of these things. Mm -hmm. And we're doing some of these things here at Fort Campbell. And so we stipulated that how can we get our four populations into activities when and bring the entire community together, both Clarksville, Hopkinsville, and Oak Grove, and Fort Campbell, 
and synergistically uh, integrate in one total program. And so that's how we came up with the 10. And we looked at what the various things at Clarksville were doing and what the various things at Hopkinsville were doing and then what we're doing at Fort Campbell. And if we could just schedule them right, we could put it so that you've got an opportunity from, from February to November, that's 10 months, and uh, at the end of that, if you complete eight of 10, whatever level that you want to enter into the events, you get a gold medal from the uh, senior commander. So it's really uh, like participation. Participation. And, 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 and we've, we've thought through all this, and, and whether, whether you, and the, the other thing that we want to talk about is that every event, which, which made us sort of look at the particular events that we're going to participate in, it's got to be wounded warrior capable. It's got to have a kid function. It's got to have a first timers uh, part to it. And then it, it's a competitive category for anyone that wants to compete all the way through. So there might be a one mile variant. There might be a, a different style or variant to each one of these events. So that even if this is the first one that you do, if this is the first time that you're going to go out and you're just going to do the one mile walk or you're going to do the half distance cross country course or the, the obstacle course or the, the functional fitness or just one leg of the, of the triathlon in Clarksville or whatever it is that and, you know, there's going to be part of that event that you can participate in and, and achieve something. So at the end of the 10 months, if you've participated in five of ten, and you maybe you just did the entry level, and you're a nine-year-old child or you're a ten-year-old child, I mean, you know, when the I, the vision that I gave everybody was imagine that that ten or eleven-year-old that gets a gold medal at the end of participating in eight or ten events, or maybe even ten of ten, if it works, if your schedule can accommodate that, mm -hmm. and that ten or eleven-year-old at the end of that year is getting a gold medal from a senior leader at Fort Campbell. Imagine what you're going to do for that kid potentially the rest of his life or at least of his, his uh, childhood years. You're, you potentially can set this child up to, to really pursue a healthy, active living beyond just one month or two months or a, or a bit of a period, but actually make it a habit and change that young, uh, young person's life. And so that's our you know, vision that for a young person, but what about a retiree? You know, what about uh, someone that is recently retired, uh, it's the start of the new year, and they're thinking, hey, I want to lose 10 or 15 pounds, or my blood pressure is a little bit higher, and my whatever, I got my blood test back, and I don't really like that, and the doctor's telling me I need to do some more physical fitness. Well, mm -hmm. here's that event. Here's this opportunity every month that you can reach. You don't have to extend yourself. You can participate. You can... Uh, get credit, and the beauty of this is the end of each month, at the end of each event, there's another one mm -hmm. four weeks away. Yeah. And so you can already uh, participate and, uh, and uh, predict and think that in a month, it's going to be a little bit different, and it's going to be something fun, and uh, I'm going to get involved in this, and I got something to look forward to, and I, maybe I can't do all of them. Uh, but I can do the ones that will fit my schedule. And I believe that if you go through this, you're going to be a changed person. And then, you know, you know, you start looking forward to next year's challenge. And, okay, I did this, this soft warrior uh, cross-country obstacle course. I got a little muddy, got a little wet, had some fun. I can't wait till next year's. Now you're being resilient. Now you're building some confidence. Now you're, you're looking forward to just not the day-to-day -day grind, but what's beyond the next uh, month, uh, six months, or a year. It's making a lifestyle change. Right, a It's lifestyle building change. in those things that become natural and routine, and you right. have to attack them consistently for it to stick, okay? Right. So for the people who aren't exercising now, if it was something that they did once a year, then they lose those following 11 months of the motivation right. and the drive to get out there and do something. But we're doing it as a community as well, and, right. and it, it's one of those takes a village kind right. of things to get everyone on board for doing something that they're capable of that's right. healthy but safe right. for their activity level and then building on that. Right. Again, it's, it's important to emphasize what you just said is we're not trying to go out there and make everybody qualified for the Olympics, but we're trying to make them know what they're doing. And it's a, part of this begins with a, a health fair 
So you understand where you're starting from. That's right. And at the end of the way, uh, end of, of it, you can say, well, I can go back and go, look, my blood pressure's down, my weight is down, uh, other blood uh, measurements might be hey, favorable based on what I've, what I've accomplished over the past year. And the, another point of this is it, it introduces everyone to other aspects of our community. So you're a Fort Campbell soldier, you're gonna go do things in Clarksville. You're going to go up to Hopkinsville and participate, or you're in Hopkinsville, you participate in a Fort Campbell event or a Clarksville event. You can't really separate Fort Campbell from Clarksville from Hopkinsville. We are all uh, trying to support each other. And when I we talk about this idea with those communities and those community leaders, they're fired up about it because it's something they're trying to do as well. Mm -hmm. And Clarksville can't support 10 events, Hopkinsville can't support 10 events, but together, all three of us, we can do 10 events. Absolutely. Well, we have a really temperate climate here in the Fort Campbell area, so that means that we have warm enough weather to get outside and do something in February, and then again all the way through till November, and that, that opportunity is something that you wouldn't have all across the country. So that gives us a, a fortunate gift in having the weather that will allow us to be able to do these things as well. Right, and, and the terrain is, is, is not so challenging uh, we're not in the mountains of North Carolina, the Rocky Mountains, or, or something like that, where it's uh, there are some challenges in Clarksville. It can be kind of hilly down there for the Go Commando, but generally this is terrain that we can work with. And uh, we've thought about the events that are in the summer so that when it is hot, we're not overstretching ourselves and creating a, a, a bit of a, of a heat issue. And one other important aspect of this is that when we looked at these events, the entry fees are as low as we can make them so that there is the barrier to entry for our folks is low. Generally, it's as cheap as we can make it. And then if someone wants to get a t-shirt, that's a little bit more. And that was something that we uh, dialogued with everyone to keep that uh, so we don't artificially keep someone out of participation. Yeah, that's really important that it's accessible to all, whether they're in the disabled or wounded warrior category right. or a young person or a retiree who's on a fixed income. All of those Correct. things are important. Right. Well, we're going to have people throughout the year coming on to talk about the different events right. as they come up. Right. But I wanted to spearhead the introduction to the Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour by having you here to talk about the the year-long vision and the, and the how we got here. Right. And I hope that you'll come back again later on in the tour, perhaps, and tell us how it's going. Right. Um, and let us know, you know, if your your visions are being achieved, and and hopefully we'll be able to look forward to in this area every year. All right. Thanks again so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>